بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہے and today with the topic of diode equivalent circuits now this I wrote to just save me a minute or two alright so let me give the heading that is diode equivalent circuits now why do we need an equivalent circuit alright so that I will tell you in a while first you listen what an equivalent circuit is an equivalent circuit is a combination of elements properly chosen to best represent the actual terminal characteristics of a device or system in a particular operating system <clears throat> so what do we do we replace the prop the, 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 the particular device by its equivalent combination of materials so now what is this combination this combination is a, of element these elements what are these elements so these elements are the basic electrical elements they could be R L or C so we combine them in such a way that we have the same response of them as the particular material that we are removing now why why do we need these equivalent circuits because if we have a diode let's say so we cannot apply the basic electrical properties to a diode when in a circuit let's say for example the Kirchhoff voltage law so what to do with the diode Norton theorem what to do with the diode Kirchhoff's current law what to do with the diode Norton's or Thevenin's theorem what to do what to do with the diode so the diode is not an electrical component through which those laws could be applied so to, to apply the basic electrical laws and rules what do we do we replace the actual element by a combination of elements which are the basic electrical elements R, L or C to which KCL can be applied KVL can be applied Norton's theorem can be applied Thevenin's theorem can be applied so and these are connected in such a manner that they represent the actual diode what they do they have the same curve this have the same characteristics that an actual diode obeys all right so we have three uh, equivalent circuits for a diode we discuss it one by one the first is the piecewise linear equivalent circuit piecewise linear equivalent circuit all right now what is this model so let me tell you so as you know we have the the curve this is FVD this is ID so we have it till VB and then it goes like this fine uh, or let me draw it little I drew it a little wrong all right so like this it is still not perfect but so this is the VB potential now what do we do in the in the piecewise equivalent circuit we assume this graph to be linear we assume linear curve all right so so what do we have we have it like this till we be we be and then we have a linear curve like this so you know it is actually differing from it but it can be approximated like this so this is what is a piecewise linear equivalent model okay now if we talk about the slope so slope we know is what we know the slope is tangent of the theta and we know that tangent of theta is perpendicular by base so it would be ID over VD and from Ohm's law we know that V is equal to IR which means I over V is 1 over R so which means the slope of this curve represents the diode resistance 1 over RD or you can also uh, say it vice versa that the resistance of the diode is 1 over the slope of this curve all right now so the equivalent circuit what do we do in the equivalent circuit we have the diode 
we have the the diode the ideal diode through which the voltage drop is zero and the current is infinite and what and the next is the barrier potential and the next is the diode resistance rd and when this is forward biased so we have it like this so this is the ideal diode plus minus this is plus minus the barrier potential vb and this is the resistance rd is it fine and the current the current of course the current flows is id now if we are given some values to find we assume that at 0.8 volt for silicon for silicon let's say the voltage applied vd is 0.8 volts so let me copy these values we have to find rd so we have to find rd at 0.8 volts and the current through this is what it is 10 milliamps 10 milliampere so how do we find it rd is equal to vd over id so rd it would be vd over vd minus vb over rd so it would be 0 0.7 minus 0 0.8 no sorry 0 0.8 minus 0 0.7 whatever you do you just take the absolute 0 0.8 minus 0 0.7 divided by 10 into 10 to the power negative 3 so we have a, a resistance rd of 10 ohms at this point now this is what you know basically all right so what do you have the characteristics are like this now if you don't draw this this um, uh, diode the ideal diode so that is also fine all right so practically if we are using this circuit in numerical problems or whatever so we represent it the diode is replaced the diode is replaced by what by a by this barrier potential vb and the diode resistance rd and we have the potential applied so this is what we will do in the uh, numerical problems or things like that the, the the ideal diode is not mandatory to be drawn all right this is the vd potential and the current flowing is id fine okay now the second the second model is a constant voltage drop model constant voltage drop model or it is also called the simplified uh, simplified equivalent circuit yes let me check it yes yes simplified equivalent circuit okay so now what do we have in this case so in the first we only assumed a linear curve and over here we have a linear curve plus the rd equaling zero so we have two assumptions the first is the linear curve and the second is that rd is equal to zero now as rd is equal to one over slope so 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 the slope would be infinite and which means tangent of theta is infinite and now this suggests that theta is equal to tangent inverse of infinity and, it, and, and tangent is infinity for what angle for a 90 degrees so which means that we have a curve like this if I draw uh, over here so if this is your VD and this is your ID so the curve would be like this it comes till the barrier potential it did it does come till the barrier potential this is vb and then the current increases linearly we have a 90 degrees angle is that fine so so in this model if you're using this model what do you have you have the ideal diode you have the barrier potential and you don't have the diode resistance all right now if you if you use it in the numerical problem so this 
uh, this ideal diode is not necessary to draw. Why, why do we need to draw it? All right, because this would just be short circuit. So uh, this is the barrier potential VB, and it is connected to the to the VD potential, and this is the circuit, and the current ID flows through it. And I did not write it over here, and I'm not I'm writing it over here. So so it is for both of them that you replace the diode by a VB with a resistance if if this V diode is greater or equal to VB right and you replace it by an open circuit equivalent if the V diode is less than VB and the same for the reverse bias as well now the final is the ideal equivalent circuit the 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 the, the, the over here so I remove this so we can have it over there all right this is an enough space so the ideal diode we've seen in the previous video also so the third is the ideal equivalent circuit now in the ideal equivalent circuit we assume what in the previous assumptions it was made that rd is equal to zero why because because this the resistance of the network other components was far greater than the resistance of the diode so we assumed it to be zero similarly the the potential in other part of the network is way greater than the potential drop across the diode which is the v barrier so so in this case we assume the v barrier potential to be zero as well so the ideal equivalent circuit is like this you have the ideal diode and you have the battery connected to it like this so I did I draw the graph yes I draw it over here all right so so the curve for this would be what the curve for this would be like this ID and this is VD so the curve would lie on the on the uh, on the vertical axis like this because VB is 0 right and the slope is infinite because RD is 0 so now what happens in the ideal equivalent circuit what do you do when it is forward biased so in the ideal equivalent when it is forward biased you know so you just replace it by a short circuit equivalent and when it is reverse biased so you know you need to replace it by a uh, by an open circuit equivalent so that's all about it that's all about the equivalent circuit the piecewise linear model does what we have the barrier potential we have the resistance rd we only assume the curve to be linear all right in the second we assume the rd to be zero so the curve is linear we have the slope infinite we have the barrier potential vb now in the last case we assume the barrier potential to be zero we assume the resistance of the diode to be zero so we have only a short circuit or an, or an open circuit the, the 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 curve lies on the vertical axis that's all about today it's all about the equivalent circuit see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you goodbye